I'm here in Costa Rica looking for the elusive hawk moth and this is a very fine example. So what I'm trying to do here now is set up this canvas to catch moths. Now the sun's going down it'll be gone in about half an hour that's 5.30. It's important that as the sun goes down this light here is on and burning as bright as possible which means that all the moths from here to about a kilometre away will see that light and will come fluttering across the jungle canopy straight on to this white sheet here. This is going to be on for about three or four hours and then when I come and check it tonight hopefully it'll be covered in hawk moth. Now I'm expecting on a really good night, maybe 20 hawk moths and then the rest of the sheet to be covered in smaller moths. But it hasn't rained for a while, so we may be lucky only to see one or two. So let's keep our fingers crossed. Been on for a couple of hours and already we can see quite a number of small moths and a couple of silk moths. But what I'm really after is the hawk moth. But on a night like this, it hasn't really helped because it's a full moon, so I wouldn't really expect to see too many moths. But when the season is right and the conditions are right, i.e. it's about to rain and it's cloudy, and if there's a little bit of fog, mist, even better, I would have expected to see about 15 or 20 scattered across here. Now we do have a hawk moth, and it's right up there and it's a beautiful green. So now I'm gonna reach up and try and catch it for you. This particular hawk moth, as you can see, is a pretty large specimen. Now I've got my hawk moth and the way that one can tell that it's a hawk moth rather than the silk moth because they're the, the same size is that the silk moth has great big dots on both of its wings and its wings are more like butterflies. This one, its wings are a different shape, it's more mottled, camouflaged and actually this one which is a, a green hawk moth has these wonderful pink second wings which are hidden underneath the top wing and if I just open it up you can just see you've got a glimpse of it there like he's feeling like I'm pushing him all over my hand can perhaps get just a glimpse of what he is. Now they can stay as a pupae for about 12 to 15 months until the conditions are absolutely perfect when these little guys will hatch from their cocoons and emerge as a moth into the night. He's absolutely beautiful. So we better put him back on this sheet so that he can hopefully wait for a mate to arrive and then produce the next offspring and they can sometimes lie as much as a year or 15 months in the earth ready to to pupate into this incredible creature just waiting for the right conditions and its cousin the silk moth who is almost the same size with a pair of wings that's more like a butterfly than than this one 
it comes out of a, a silk cocoon and similarly waits a long time for the right conditions when it knows all of its friends are going to be out and about and then it too comes out and heads off to mate. And we find bigger ones than that too. They'll then be attracted to something like this sheet where hopefully all the other moths have also congregated so that they can mate and then lay their eggs for another another season. Sadly, tonight is not a good night to have hatched. The moon is bright. This lamp has been on for nearly four or five hours and this is our only hawk moth. So it hasn't had a chance to mate at all. The weather conditions are all wrong and I'm afraid <coughs> this little chap is not going to find a friend to mate with. He's absolutely beautiful. So we better put him back on this sheet so that he can hopefully wait for a mate to arrive.